What up guys? Maligay ang bagong taon. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Welcome to Pinoy Bounce. I'm your host for tonight, 2020 it is. Over here on my left side, we got Ingrid May. How you feeling? Good. New Year. Same me. <laughs> Over here on my right side, we got Mr. James. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Uh, new Year, what? New... new Year and same me too. <laughs> <laughs> well, New Year, more chicken for yeah. me on this side. So before we get started, let's bring it up to James. What do we got? Um, Today's NBA fun fact, it's the Rookie of the Year Award. There are five NBA players that won a Rookie of the Year but never played the rookie season. Um, and the players are Ben Simmons, David Robinson, Jerry Lucas, Larry Bird, and Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin is supposed to be the face of Detroit Pistons and now he's injured. So in this new decade, just like Blake Griffin, who do you guys think is the face of this new decade? Ooh. I'm saying, well, the, the end of this decade was definitely LeBron James. Yeah. So like, 20, 2000 to 2010 was, we all agreed it was Kobe. Kobe, yeah. yeah. Then from 2010 until 2020, till 2019, we all agreed, strongly agreed it's LeBron. LeBron and I'll say Curry in you there. Say Curry, yo, yo, Durant? Like Curry do you think there. Durant might have been? I say Durant yeah, too. Durant. Half and half. But like if we have to do like number one face of the franchise. Yeah. And has made that kind yeah. of like impact as Who's well. Who's been kind of like I don't know what they call it in in the wrestling. Uh, they call it like either the face or they call it they call it like the somebody like the the one that carries the league or that carries yeah. the whole entertainment. Yeah. So LeBron is definitely the, I think out of KD just because of the impact that LeBron's had. But for this coming 2019 till uh, 2020 into 2029, who do you guys think? It's wrong. I'm saying Luca. Yeah. I'm saying Luka Doncic. Yeah. yeah. I would yeah. say Luca too. I think he came in at the perfect time, you know. Yeah, it's <laughs> perfect. Like just the start of 2020, when yeah. he's at, like literally averaging 30 points a game. He's coming in like LeBron James, basically. If this you compare, guy. If you compare their rookie that. years and everything right now, so yeah. they are comparable right now. So I feel like he's going to be the next. It's his second year. That's yeah, the crazy part. That's the, that's he's 20 years part. old. 20 yeah. years old. He's averaging Russell Westbrook stats basically. Yeah. On his second year, so. And that's basically the face. <laughs> it's so hard to like yeah. disagree. It's, that's yeah. like I'm trying to think of another player. Like my, the person that came to mind was Giannis, just because of where he is right now. Mm -hmm. But you compare the age between Giannis and Luca. He's 20 years old, but Giannis is 25. Yeah. Right. And the kind of numbers they're putting up is up there. And that's the thing. Right? But with Luka Doncic, it's right off the bat. Whereas when we saw Giannis's development, I mean, he still has the mediocre shots, still, right? Even mm -hmm. at this time in like his mm -hmm. years coming into the NBA seasons, right? Mm -hmm. But like I'm just saying, Luka would have to be as compared to Giannis because like Luka has it right away, right mm -hmm. off the bat, like what I mentioned before. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Is there any <clears throat> other player that can maybe come up there? Do you think Zion might do something kind of crazy and like blow our minds off? Or is there another player that's kind of upcoming or maybe that's already there? Cause I, yeah. You guys might laugh at this, but I think Ben Simmons is. <laughs> oh, I knew it. I was waiting for him to bring it up. <laughs> if, if, if he gets a good coach, it's just that the ceiling is really high up there. He yeah. just couldn't reach his potential. That's the only problem about Ben Simmons, because like, he's scared to shoot threes. Yeah. That's, that's my take is: Do you think that's more of a coaching, or is that more of a mentality in the way he's playing? Because, well, like, I'm, yeah. Giannis is in the same boat in terms yeah. of the talent and the skill set that that mm -hmm. Ben Simmons has. But with Giannis this season, he's taking that three. His shot might look kind of questionable and yeah. ugly at times. You get air balls and free throws and three-pointers at times, but yeah. he still takes it. So do you think he's scared to shoot threes or the system is forcing him not to shoot threes or what is it? Or he just doesn't want to shoot threes? He's not just that confident, but mm -hmm. when it comes to NBA, you have to be confident with what you do. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, it's the coach's job to reach their potential. Mm -hmm. It's It's... Every NBA player, even like if they don't get no playing time, they're very talented. Mm -hmm. It depends on like what Dunn. Dunn is what undrafted. Right. Terrence oh, Davis Kendrick is undrafted. Dunn, you're talking about? Huh? No, I'm talking. No, I'm just talking yeah, about yeah. like coach's draft, job yeah. is to make NBA players to reach their real potential. And even Nick Nurse with yeah. Terrence Davis. Yeah. Right? And so, like even Fred Van Fleet. Right? Yeah, so. exactly. So that's what I think. But what do you guys think about Ben Simmons? Like, these guys don't want to shoot threes. What do you guys think about other players that could reach the potential but they're not there yet? 
feel like that's also with what, what D'Lo, mm -hmm. um, what else is there? Um, so the Angelo Russell, there's also, I'm also trying to think who else is there, um, Brandon Ingram as well. I mean, like, I feel like when, when it, like, this is like a random topic, but like when most of these players that came from the Lakers, like no usage for them or anything, and then once they leave the Lakers, it's like they, it's when they finally reach their mm -hmm. full potential. I think Brandon, in, like you mentioned, I think Brandon in has that, he's, he has the skill set to be that kind of player that Durant was, Yeah. right? So I, I, I'm not, I won't be surprised if, if he can get to that level and he, you know, I think one of the key factors I think most of us don't really um, think about when it comes to somebody that would be the face of the league, besides the numbers they're putting up, yeah. but also the impact and, and, and the outside things on top of basketball. You know how Michael Jordan, he was beyond just the game of basketball. There was, yeah. you know, he was iconic. He was a memorable kids can relate to him kids with love man. And he was yeah he yeah. was you know his shoes his brand so and that's what lebron was too and kobe was yeah. right so we have to factor in not just in terms of how good they were as a basketball player but in terms how of their of branding how, how, how branding. good can they brand themselves yeah. right so that's just going to come from luke like, well you know, Luca how has Luca his first could. step now since he is signed mm -hmm. with deal jordan. with jordan he's so. on his way there and so i feel, I feel like, like he's going to be on his way there he like mm -hmm. mind you he's still young mm -hmm. but i just feel like you know I don't even know who his managers or who his agents are, but like just with the right, you know. I think it's the, with branching. the right PR and yeah. the right um, approach to it, he could be a face of the league. But his mentor is Dirk too, so yeah, the, they might not be that much of you know. He might be a, a low key player that might not make the league in terms of uh, as an icon, just because of the fact that the people that he's you know his mentor is someone like Dirk, who's very low key loyal. Right. Whereas with LeBron, everything happens. It's all about him. It surrounds him. Yeah. There's he drama. Media. He has a person. Like Sixteen. His person. Yeah. His personality <laughs> yeah. is like that too. He can. I mean, know. he has tattooed what chosen one on his back. Yeah. So, like, so that also has to factor in. That also <laughs> yeah. has to factor in. Kobe was the same thing. Yeah. Kobe was very vocal. He had caused a lot of drama. He had caused a lot of tension. So that also has to come in for somebody to carry a face of the league because you have to be a story not just as a basketball player but also it's like good and bad media yeah I think, for him. so yeah. You, it gives the league kind of something to talk about it gives the league always a story and something interesting to talk besides just a game of basketball right yeah. well ben simmons dating kendall jenner so oh, <laughs> i think one. ben simmons has an yeah. advantage on luca on that yeah. cheated on tanache yeah. to be with kendall yeah. jenner so but it's just, it's just such a waste of talent for ben simmons because he can reach this level like when he, w he got drafted he was yeah. like oh he could be the next lebron and then he just Kaput. went stagnant mm -hmm. like just right there and i'm like but yeah so yeah yeah well, that's all we got. That's for what's up in the NBA. But stay tuned because when we come back, all about the Raptors.